This is a certified Bob Sponge 10 classic. Hey guys, back with another Survivor tier list. We're doing Survivor 42, the season that just ended. I've got my co-host back with me today. Good to be back. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're very welcome, sir. Uh, anyway, let's just jump right into it. So, first off, we got Jenny. And uh, to me, she... I don't know. She was a bit of a bland character, in my opinion. Not that there's yeah. nothing wrong with her, just she just didn't really pop out, pop, pop yeah. off the screen. She seemed to have potential to like be pretty good at the game, but she kind of got screwed there in that yeah situation. Yeah, because it it should have been like a because like Mike and um, Chanel both didn't have their vote, so that was yeah. a really weird thing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess like C tier would be fine. Yeah. All right. Now I got Chanel, dude. She is so freaking dumb, man. When, all right. So you know how like they knew that they were going to tribal council, and she knew that she needed to have her vote, and she still risked her vote and lost it anyway. Yeah. That. She, why? She was probably the worst player in the game. Yeah, really. I know, I know, I know. She made it to the merge. Yeah. Okay, I I get it, but. Like, it seemed like every move she made was bad. And, like, all of her decisions were bad, and her rationale was all bad. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, I think I think D tier is, is uh, pretty fair. What do you think? Yeah. I don't, well, I mean, I guess she made it interesting. You know, her dumb move, like... Yeah. I, I mean, but I don't know. I would put her D. Even... I'd put her D. You'd put her C? Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Well, to me, I mean, you know, Daniel was the more interesting of that that duo. I mean, you know, he played just as bad, pretty much. But I I, I don't know. I thought he he did it better. Yeah, I mean, if you want to move her to D, I don't care. I I just thought... Yeah. At least she did stuff. Yeah, we can can leave her there for now. We'll see how it... Lydia here? I put her at D. Yeah. I mean, what did she do? What the Nothing. freak did she do? Nothing. I mean, you can't even say she was a bad player. You just have no idea. She was just yeah. there. She 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 was a nothing player. That's even yeah. worse than being a bad player. Yeah. Um. Now we have Daniel, who you know, similar to Chanel, just you know, totally <laughs> totally fumbled the bag. I feel like all of his scenes were just chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there was, not, there was he like, even the way he talked and stuff just made it, and so he just seemed so serious and yeah. I, then, I don't know. Yeah, but then but he, it was fun. Like it was yeah. kind of yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I don't know. He might be, he might be deserving a B tier. I don't know. I, I'm I'm good with that. Yeah. Now we have high, and you know high. I mean, he was a fine player. Uh, he's a bit, you, you know, didn't personality-wise, he was, uh, you know, pretty serious. Not, not much of a character, really. Yeah, I'd put him at B. Yeah. I mean, he was he was a decent. I think he kind of perceived himself like for a while. I thought he was the best player in the game, but then he slowly became too cocky. Yeah. And he wasn't the best player in the game anymore. Right. I, I yeah, like that one that one vote he got from Romeo just like totally threw off his game, which is crazy cuz it didn't even matter. But Yeah, I know. And I'd yeah, say so, his pre-merge was his pre-merge game was really impressive and his yeah. like post-merge for a few rounds was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh now we got Mike who I mean, if I was sitting there, I would have voted for Mike. I would have voted for him to win. Even though he, you know, even though he did not have a good 
final tribal council, I would have voted for him. Yeah, I think he played the best game. Yeah, out of those three, definitely, I thought. I Would you put him A or S? Uh, because I guess, I mean, if we're doing relative to season, yeah. I think he'd be S, but... If you compare him to like other S's from in history, yeah, would he be up there? I don't know. Uh, probably not. But you know, you can only compare. You can only compare him to the people he played against, really. Yeah, it's true. So I, I'd say he's probably S. Yeah. He was in the middle of everything. Yeah. He was involved in everything. Yeah, and like, man, he played such a good game, but like, he didn't even realize it because I think he actually thought that he played with honor and integrity even though he didn't yeah <laughs> oh well yeah i think i think his final tribal love thing is people like began to realize that he wasn't some mastermind yeah like, the way he was playing you kind of thought he was and he made good moves yeah but that was just him he was very he was very like lex a lot of his i feel like his rationale and stuff and it was always everything it seemed was personally directed his moves were personally directed and not yeah. actually yeah which that's... worked which worked for him it did it did i mean it got him to the final three yeah but uh do you remember this woman's name <laughs> no okay <laughs> that was pretty easy uh, i remember i remember she had some some decent milkers but she did I think so. Okay. Well, I mean, she might have. Reason. I don't. I don't even remember. Still, yeah. I don't know. I was. I was. Um. I was That's more focused. I, remember, so. I was more focused on Tori, but whatever. <laughs> all right. So we got Lindsay. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, she was a good player, man. Yeah. One hand, you gotta give her props because she beat. She won more than Jonathan did. Well, I but, think I think they each won two. Oh, really? Yeah. It felt like she won more than Jonathan did. But yeah, it, it did feel that I way. I feel like she was, her and Jonathan, her her problem was straying away from Jonathan. She thought like Jonathan was bringing down her game. Right. But I think you know what she should have done is just kept that connection. Yeah. And uh, they could have been a solid two. I That's, mean, yeah, they could have. Should just. I think she should have just stayed with them. I mean. Yeah. I don't really see like you saw, and we'll talk about Jonathan too later. But yeah, and we we talked about this when we were watching it. But I mean, she was just she was just so against Jonathan. Yeah, that was crazy, and, man. And she was talking bad about him all the time, and he had nothing but nice things to say about her. Yeah, like, so. and I don't understand why because. I mean, she was just so bent on getting Jonathan out, even though even though she would have beaten him if they were both sitting there at the end. She would have beaten him, but she was still just so focused on getting him out. It doesn't make any yeah, I sense. Guess she, apparently, I guess she just didn't like the way he treated her. Or, it's just... Well... I couldn't see from the edit, like, what yeah. the problem was. I mean... Yeah. If him just not agreeing with her or him wanting to do things a certain way, it just, I mean... It's just personality conflict. I mean, it's not like he was purposely treating her poorly. Right. I mean, come on, John Jonathan, he's an Alabama man. He's a southern gentleman. <laughs> he is. He's a southern beau. <laughs> a, very, <laughs> a very big southern beau. That wears cut open sh shirts. Yeah, and um can uh, do one million pull ups in yeah. a matter in five minutes. Yeah. But I guess Lindsay I'd put it what what would you think? A or B? Uh I would say A. Okay. Yeah. I mean uh, I don't know. Anyway, we got Marianne who uh won. And Wait, I mean before we say that, spoiler. What? Spoiler, Marianne wins. You yeah. see, you forgot to Man, you gotta oh, put that yeah, in the comments. Forgot to I mean, forgot uh, to give that spoiler warning. In the description. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know, yeah. I imagine anyone that's watching this that hasn't seen it. <laughs> that yeah, why, why would anybody watch this if they haven't already seen the season? Anyway. Um Marianne, I mean she 
didn't really do anything from what I could see until like until like uh that one that one round where she got rid of Omar. And that was like her only real move as far as I could tell. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. But you know what? I I think after everything, I put her in S tier. Why? Well, I think she was a funny character. Like, I mean, she was annoying to yeah. an extent, but also she was just always so lively. Right. And she talked so fast, and usually I could catch everything she said. Yeah. And it was pretty good. And she, I mean, she was, so she was pretty, I thought she was likable. Yeah. And she also killed it and won the game. Like, her final tribal was one of the best ever. Yeah, that, man, that was really good. Maybe, I mean, if not the best ever. I yeah. mean, she just, I mean, you could just, I knew she was going to win, like, just based on her final tribal. Like, yeah. after, I mean, yeah, she well, just did it so well. Yeah, that and in combination with Mike blowing it that hard, I mean, how could she not win after that? Yeah. That, yeah. I would be very eager to see see him not blow it and just actually just say, yeah, I wasn't that honorable. Yeah. And, and have her do her same one and see how it would go then, like yeah. how close it would be. But yeah, that would be close. Um, have you? Do you know what physiognomy is? No. Uh, physiognomy, from what I understand, is like you take someone's uh, facial structure and somehow scientifically that uh, shows trends toward their you know personality or their intellect. Mm-hmm. Um. And just looking at Marianne, initially, uh, I thought she would have an IQ of like 60, but man, I was wrong. She proved me wrong. She she ended up being pretty smart. So there's my. That's just because you're racist. That, there's 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 my wholesome moment of the day. So you're yeah. welcome, everybody. <laughs> it it is also because I'm racist, but you know. <laughs> You you should look up physiognomy. It's a real thing. Okay, I'll check it out. Okay. Wait. So wait. Wait. Based on physiognomy, who who would you like? Just looking at this cast, who do you think would win based on physiognomy? Based on physiognomy, uh, I would think that. I don't know. I always thought Mike would do well. Like yeah. even when the season first started, I thought he would do good. Yeah. Him and Omar. I mean, yeah. they were also the two best players, but yeah. Right away, you can just tell. Right. All right. So, so we had Jackson next. Yeah, we did. Uh, he. Well, you He's know, quotation marks. Qu- putting quotation marks here. He uh, was on lithium, and, <laughs> <laughs> and he got he kicked forgot, out of the game. He forgot to bring his AAA batteries to feed to eat. Yeah. Hey, do you guys have any AAA batteries as a reward? <laughs> I like to eat them. <laughs> oh man! Uh, yeah, why no, did they I, let I, him out there, man? Why did they let well, him they, take up someone else's roster spot? They had no. They didn't know. That's why they had to kick him off. Yeah. Well, how did they even find out? Because he told them right before he started. He's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, I'm addicted to eating batteries." Yeah. Well, man, they should have had somebody. They should have had like an alternate out there or something. I mean, you would think, right? Well, they already started the game. What? Man, that's... What the freak, man? That's so selfish. Yeah. Congrats on living out your dream. You just ruined... You just someone ruined else. someone else's. Good job. Uh, D tier? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we got Omar. Who... S. Wait, no, we can't have that many S's. I guess A. What do you think? Well, Unless you want to put him in ass. I mean, he was great. He was pretty yeah. hilarious. Well, you know, I'll just I'll just set him down for a second, and then we can talk about him. Okay. I mean, for the majority of the season, Omar was... Well, I mean, overall, I think Omar was definitely the best player of the season. Yeah. Um, he really ran the game. Yeah. I don't really understand why... That the the fact that Lindsay didn't play her idol for him and he didn't press harder on that. Yeah. I mean, get to give Mary Marianne credit for that and Mike and Jonathan, but why not just play your idol for him? Yeah. 
like the reasoning was uh, her reasoning what Lindsay's reasoning was uh but going back into the circulation yeah okay well so what i mean yeah i mean you could you either... saved your only ally right <laughs> your only main ally right and also and, well, the, and another thing is he was gonna beat her so like why was she even thinking about yeah taking him you know well i mean you know well here's my thing wasn't wasn't that idol wasn't that like not a regular idol couldn't it only be have been played at that round like didn't she say that didn't she say like this this idol's about to expire, so I, I have to play it now. Yeah, that was so dumb. Yeah. So, why would it re-enter the game if that was the last time it could be played? You you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't really get all any of that. Yeah. That I mean, was... I guess. Epic fail yeah, on Lindsay's part. Yeah. And Omar. I mean, Omar should have talked to her about that. Yeah, right? I mean, he, he should have known that. He should have told her that. I think they both got really confident. Yeah. And that's why he didn't win. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he was a great villain. He was. His, his girlfriend's pretty hot. I haven't seen that. Yeah, he did. And, like, the family, the family video on that reward show. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I remember her being attractive. Yeah. Speaking of attractive, next up, Jonathan. Jonathan. Uh, we don't even need to discuss this. Yeah. I mean, dude. I know some people out there may not be huge fans, but we here are huge fans. Yeah. As Southern fellas, as as, as Southern bows, as such yeah. as Southern gamer bows, as ourselves. Yeah. As as a fellow uh, high level, well, I'm not gonna call myself high level. As a fellow competitive swimmer, you know, I have to appreciate a, a great swimmer. And I mean, Jonathan, man, dude, he freaking has anybody ever done that good in uh, the pre-merge challenges? No, I don't think so. Unless you want to count the whole team with, I mean, individually. Yeah, he was the best. Yeah. I mean, the the Tom Westman uh, tribe, where they just won every challenge, was pretty impressive. But yeah. this was like, more single-handedly impressive, for sure. Right. But I thought he was... I mean, I'm on, I'm on Survivor Reddit, and a lot of people... Okay. I mean, there are a lot of people defending him, but there are also as many... I mean, you either like him or you don't. Like, you yeah. either think he played a good game or you think he played a bad game. Yeah. I think he played a good game because, I mean, you look at the cha recent challenge beasts, mm -hmm. and they're all taken out pretty early. Yeah, and I know he only won two challenges, but everyone just knew what he was capable of, and he was he was he finished top two in every challenge. Yeah, like really. And and the physical part, I mean, if there were puzzles, he would have probably won most of them. But but he was also a good social player. I mean, yeah, he was. Yeah, like, he, he allied with Mike, who played the best game. Right, he had Mike. He had uh, he had Omar. He had Marianne. He had um. And Lindsay was going after him the whole time. Yeah. And no one ever really wanted to. I mean, maybe. I mean, yeah, he probably wouldn't have won. Yeah. But. But he. He he lasted really long. Yeah, he that. he earned his spot. You know, he he did not get carried there like. If he had to do the fire challenge against anyone else, he probably would have won. That's true. I think, but yeah. then again, who knows? Yeah. I'm I'm sure he'll be back. Oh, I feel he, like he's just Jeff's type type of guy. Yeah, man, Jeff was hyping him up so much. He has to be a back. man after Jeff's own heart. Yeah. All right, who who do you think from this cast is coming back? I think. I think the top. I mean, everyone in S. Yeah, unless I, Mike's too old. Mike and Marianne. Marianne, I don't know. Yeah, like, she, well, I think she's more likely to come back than Erica. She's more exciting than Erica. She is, but she's also a winner, which I think probably hurts her chances because they just did winners at war. Yeah. So, so. That, yeah, that if she comes back, it won't be a while. But she's very young. 
Yeah, she could. I they bet could, she will. Yeah, Mike. I think Jonathan, maybe uh, Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan and Omar might come back sooner. Yeah, Jonathan and Omar, I think are definitely coming back. Um, Mike, maybe if he's not too old. Marianne, maybe, and uh, I think Tori is definitely coming oh, back. And, oh, and Jackson. Oh yeah, Survivor Legend. It went. They'll actually provide lithium for him so he can, so he can live out of this <laughs> I mean, just imagine him on the island like, hey, uh, hey, do you have, can I, can I take batteries out of that mic you have right there? <laughs> oh, he's, I, my lithium levels are low. Yeah. I need to refuel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Drea. Drea. Uh, she really did nothing with a lot, huh? Yeah, like all that stuff. Yeah, she didn't play a single advantage right. I don't think. I mean, other than that immunity idol, that whole tribal yeah. Well, debacle, I mean, well, she had to play that. She played so, that one right, but that was an accident. Yeah. She accidentally played that one right. She seems. She just seemed kind of caught, like. She's, she's no one who was her number one. She just didn't really have a great ally, it seemed like. Yeah. Well, I guess it was Roxroy. Yeah, she was really she was kind of soloing it, it yeah. seemed like. So I, I can't say her social game was that great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean she really like she was super calm, but at the same time she didn't really do much at all. So I don't know. I'd put her in B though. She was kinda yeah, I mean, she was fine. I mean, you can tell that she's smart, but like at the same time, she also she had some really good sarcastic anything. moments and stuff. And anyway, okay, yeah, I mean, I guess I'd say she's about equal to high, in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tori. Man, we have too many S's. Yeah. But we have to put Tori in S. I yeah. think. I think so too. We. She's- Dude, she's so hot, man. She's and, attractive and, and she's, she's chaotic. She's an exciting player. Mm. Which you know, there wasn't I mean, you know, her facial expressions too are hilarious. Yeah. Her reactions? I yeah, I bet she'll be back. Yeah. Man, she she could be such a good player. I mean, if she just didn't if she if she could just tone it down a little bit, she would. Yeah, she could win. But yeah, I mean, you know, playing aggressive, it's it's you know, you got to be really careful. You got to when you play aggressive, you got to either be like, uh, you got to be like uh, Omar. You got to be really under the radar. Yeah. But. But still, man. I mean, I'm a big fan. And uh, you know, I thought her her choice of uh, footwear once she made it to the jury was uh, pretty nice. <laughs> but what about? I bet you'd want to see this next girl in that footwear, huh? <laughs> no, man, I'm good. I don't even remember this girl's name. Uh, it was Swati, I believe. Okay. I remember her. She was like telling everyone they're her, they're her number one. And then everyone was like, hey, she told you that too? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I was glad she got she got kicked off. I mean, that was. Yeah. Well, it was going to be either her or Tori, so. Yeah. Yeah. Z. Uh, Yeah, I'm thinking D. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We got Roxroy. And, you know, <laughs> at the beginning of the game, Roxroy, uh, you know, he was, he was, uh, you know, getting in arguments with people and he was like, you know, just not, just not really, uh, self-aware at all. A lot of people weren't rocking with Roxroy. Facts, man. They weren't rocking with rocks. Yeah. <laughs> but by the end of it, I mean, you know, turns out he's not such a bad guy. He grew on me. Yeah, I'd definitely put him with Lindsay there. Yeah. Dude, he's, he, he was also really not a great player. Yeah. 
You really didn't understand. Yeah, he wasn't. Like, he really actual, wasn't. He you wasn't. Just didn't really understand what the best move was. Yeah, I mean, he, he was. He just didn't seem very self-aware. Yeah, but he was hilarious. He was because of that. He was really like Rox. Roxroy would have been really good on season five or yeah. six or any season before. I don't know. Mid-teens. Yeah, know? yeah. He just wasn't really flexible at all, which I think also hurt him. But that's also fun to have. It is fun. It's like a nice. It's a nice. Uh, you know, you got all these all these uh, gamers on the cast, and and by gamers I mean people who are like super, uh, you know, try hard, uh, trying to think twelve steps ahead, and then you got Roxroy, and he's such a great he's such a great. Uh, and then you, know, you got Chanel who's antithesis. Still Chanel still fit, trying to figure out how to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So now we got Romeo. Romeo. Man, he disappeared for like 10 straight episodes. He actually had a pretty... I, I read a lot. People were really complimentary of his final tribal. Like, his people were saying that was like the best zero vote final tribal ever. Because he, he owned his game completely and he... He explained why he was where he was, and he, you know, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it was. I, I think it, that definitely boosted him up in my eyes. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Um, yeah, I also thought, uh, you know, even though it was, even though it didn't really matter at all, I thought him uh, going through all the effort to make a fake idol was, uh, and then throwing it in the fire. I thought that was really funny because <laughs> it, it didn't matter at all. It didn't matter, and. And the also, he won the final immunity. Yeah, that was like the last, the last person. Like I wasn't even considering him as an option to win. And then yeah. oh, Romeo wins final immunity. Yeah, which was also, well, you know, if Mike or Jonathan won it, that means Mike or Jonathan would have both of them probably would have been in the finals because one of them anyway. Yeah. So Romeo kind of threw, threw the game off there. He, he Romeo is the reason Marianne won for sure. Like, oh yeah, I think she probably she might have won if he didn't win that. But yeah, he he made him sure she was there. Yeah, and him being there, all she had to do was take down Mike, and that was easy for her. So right. Well, I mean, you know, she definitely wouldn't have beaten either one of them in a fire making challenge. So I don't think. I mean, I'm that's just a guess, but yeah, I really... put him a B. B okay, that's fine. Um, this guy, I remember he was the first boot, but I don't remember Marianne much really else. Liked him. Oh yeah, she said Man. that she said she had a crush on him. Yeah, that's that's his that's his most memorable uh, uh, moment was the after he got had a crush on him. him. Yeah, hey, hey, um, you. If you, you have know, a crush on me, hey, a you mil- also just made a million dollars. Yeah, hey, Whoa, a millionaire has a crush on you, sudden, dude. Not bad. You're an option for me. Yeah, yeah. You still have that crush? <laughs> hey, I because all of a sudden I have a crush on you now, Marianne. Yeah, you know, uh, Marianne, I just think you're so you're so beautiful and uh, your human your physiognomy is so human esque. Uh, you know. I I would really like to go on a date with you, and I I just never got the chance to tell you before you won a million dollars because I got voted out. So also, you know. would you mind paying for the date? Yeah. Hey, would you mind buying me? Yeah. A, would you mind buying? I, me I wouldn't a... ask that normally, but because I'm because you just won a million dollars, I think it's only fair. Yeah. Uh, also, that'd be funny if they did get together because it'd be first boot and winner. Yeah. First boot versus and first place. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, you gotta get your, you gotta get your um, Harry Potter Funko Pops somehow. Yeah. Um, I think we have too many in S. Yeah, Who are we moving out? Uh, my vote would be Marianne. Okay. Are you fine with that? Yeah. Okay. Um, how's the rest of it look? I think it looks. Pretty good. Yeah. 
good tier list. Yeah. Good season. Good, good season. season. This season, much better than 42. I mean, 41. Yeah. Way better. So much better, man. Way like, better. <laughs> it's it's crazy. At 41, I was like, man, I don't even really care who wins. Like, I was yeah. rooting for Xander, but, yeah. I mean, I mean you if know. Xander won, I'd be like, well, he still kind of sucked as a winner. Right. I mean, I, I was honestly only rooting for him because – he was like the final, the final stand against the uh, you know the onslaught of minorities that were trying to take him out the whole game. Yeah, it would have been very poetic if he won, but he didn't. I knew he wasn't. So, but it's crazy, man. Like even though forty-one and forty-two had like the same exact format, it's crazy what a what a better cast and better exactly. editing what and better editing will do. Exactly. Well, all right. Good video. When does forty three come out? Do you know? Uh, I would guess about. How long is each season? Is each season like three months? Dude, I don't know. When do we start watching this? I don't remember, man. I know last episode was episode twelve, which means it's been on twelve weeks. So that's about three months. Yeah. I guess the next one's gonna be in about three months. If each season is three months, then it's like, and there's two a year, and you know. Yeah, you got it. There yeah. you go. There you go. That's math. We go. we we. You know. We've, we've, other we've, uh, other we've channels. Survivor. Yeah. We've cracked it. We've Dude, cracked the code, Survivor. We, we know when you're. <laughs> we know <laughs> your schedule now. We just broke the game, man. We did. Dude, what if, what if there is a survivor and it's like uh, blood versus water, but it's not blood versus water. It's like friend duos, like yeah. just duos of friends, bro. What if we were on it, dude? That would be guys on separate tribes. So awesome, man. I yeah. I think we would both make the merge because we're both, I mean, we're both physical enough. I mean, you are definitely, and I mean, I'm good at swimming and yeah, outdoors and all that stuff. So yeah. Anyway, Jeff Probst, if you're listening to this, yeah, give us a shot, man. Give us a shot, man. Like, you know, I mean, we'll 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 say we're gay if that's what'll get us on. We won't. I'm not we that. wouldn't kiss. We wouldn't there's kiss, but we would say we're gay. But you know, there's a line. I'd, I here's here's my pitch to Jeff Probst. Okay, for both of us, okay. is we make these tier lists so yeah. we know what it takes to be S tier. Exactly. You know to make good TV because we know. Exactly, man. So, there we go. But, but really, dude, you wouldn't, you wouldn't pretend to be gay for me to get on Survivor. You wouldn't, you wouldn't kiss a nigga on the cheek for a shot at a million bucks. Dude, I don't think they would believe that I'm gay. I'm just too masculine for that. I'm just, I just, ha- I just give off such straight, straight man vibes. I don't think it would work. Oh yeah, that that makes sense. I would sabotage. Like they'd be like, "Oh, he's not gay. We're gonna." Ki-. They'd be the first the first day. They're like, "Hey, so we've recently found out that you're not actually gay. Yeah. That's the reason we wanted you on this season. So we're gonna have to ask you to leave <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for the second straight season. There's a there's someone's removed from the game the first day. <laughs> and, and and this time it's not lithium related. Yeah, that would be. That would be like them finding out that Jackson is a normal person. It turns out he's not transgender. Yeah. Oh, got him. Guess what? I've been male all my life. <laughs> yeah. I've been a cis male all my life. <laughs> um... Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Dude, for all of you loyal Bob Sponge 10 subscribers that have listened to this part at this point, hats off to you. Yeah, you are true epic gamers. One of these days when Bob makes it big, when he's got millions of subscribers, you can just, you can, you can say, hey, I watched, I watched, I watched a whole tier list video that was 30 minutes when he only had 46 subscribers or 45 whatever yeah. it is it's it's 46 right now 
Dude, maybe you're, 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 you've almost got us. Dude, in a few Survivor seasons, Survivor will have as many seasons as you have Survivor. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have a couple more by then. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, yeah, that... Dude, that would be... You getting kicked off for not being gay would be like me pretending to be a Chad to get on the show. And then the first day they find out I'm actually a gamer. And they're like, hey... We we can't have gamers on our show. <laughs> ever since Kenny, ever since Kenny lost, yeah, we can't have another gamer. Yeah, that was it. That was that was the one and only chance for for the gamer community. <laughs> ever whenever Ken, Kenny said like that's sexy or something, yeah. she ate ants or something. Yeah, that's something like that. They're like, all right, no more gamers on the show. Yeah. That is, I, uh, that is, uh, that is a legitimate concern though, because I would say that the first moment, any attractive woman took her shoes off, which would probably be all the time because they're on a beach. Yeah. But, oh well. Yeah. Hey, 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 Jeff Probst, I would not actually do that. Well, I mean, I would do that, but you wouldn't know. I would do it when the cameras are gone. So you know, you're yeah. you're you're good, man. All right, bro, this is a good tier list. Yeah. I think we should. I think we should. We should uh, stop this for right. for the sake well, of everyone wait, watching. Let me count it down. Okay. Three, two, one. Am I supposed to stop it now? Yeah, you're supposed to stop it. Okay. <laughs>